All right, go ahead, tell him. He said you might as well call um, Cam Bosos undisputed because Devin Haney is the Pride champion. So they they so now that belt is considered the Pride champion belt, not not like the official WBC belt. They have made the oh, one Cam Bosos. I mean, that's what I'm hearing. They made the one that Cam Bosos has the official one. Yeah, see, the reason why I said what I said was because um, I totally get that for Undisputed, as it's always been, each sanctioning body says who their champion is. And when you have, when you're the champion in every sanctioning body, you are the Undisputed champion. But Maurizio Silliman has been allowed to get away with bending rules for so long that if he comes out and says, well, you know what, for this division, I'm going to have two champions and no one's going to turn around and say to him, you can't do that. Then, you know, that, that was my point that I can't now turn around and say, well, look, Maurizio Seelerman is wrong because no one else is calling him wrong. Like who's in charge of these sanctioning bodies to tell them you can't mess up the sport like that. So now if he's come out and changed his mind again and said, well, actually now Combosis is the champion for the lightweight division and Devin Haney is what a trinket champion or or he's not even a champion anymore. No one's going to turn around and say to him, you can't do that. So it, it just messes up the sport, which is a shame, but you know, <laughs> uh, I feel sorry for Haney. I hope he doesn't have to continue paying his sanctioning fees then, because if, if Maurizio Suleiman going to sort of diminish his title as champion, then that should come in a reduction with the fees. Or maybe he doesn't need the belt at all. Uh, has Devin Haney made a comment or anything? Not that I saw, but um, I agree. We were just saying earlier that he might as well vacate that damn belt if that's the case. Nobody want to fight him for it anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah, 